The role of artificial intelligence in the future of healthcare is really interesting and for physicians a little bit scary and threatening. If you're a physician like me and you train for seven, eight, ten years to learn your craft, the idea that a computer might come in and take over for you, a lot of us have to have ambivalent feelings about that. If you watched Watson beat the Jeopardy champions, I don't think you could watch that without wondering uh, what profession is safe. And we've seen profession after profession be taken over by computers. I think many of us had a bias that medicine's too hard, too complex, it's impossible. But if you watch Watson, uh, you, you had to be impressed. I spent some time with the IBM people and came to know what Watson does. And I came away quite impressed, but also feeling like the, the jobs of doctors are pretty safe for a while. The problem with the analogy between Jeopardy and medicine is that in Jeopardy, you were feeding Watson three to five salient points embedded in a Jeopardy question, and Watson's awfully good at solving those. But when I see a patient, I'm often collecting 200 pieces of data on the patient, everything from the patient's past medical history to their blood pressure to the look of anxiety in their eyes or the sweat on their brow. Distilling those 200 pieces of data into those five salient ones turns out to be an enormously complicated cognitive act. Right now, even Watson is not able to uh, bypass the doctor's skill in doing that. Where I think artificial intelligence will probably begin to take over is in fields that are about visual pattern recognition where the computers are extraordinarily good. For the rest of medicine, uh, forgetting about the empathy part where, where I think we really do need people, at least for now, uh, but for diagnosis, for the rest of medicine, I think what we'll see is computers and people working side by side, and the experience in other industries is that combination is better than either one alone.